Hey friends, today is going to be a freezer meal day because that's how my life is. So I had some freezer uh, turkey chili. I just pop those in gallon sized bags and freeze them flat in the fridge or in the freezer. I take them out, set them in the fridge the night before I want to use them or out on the counter that morning. And then I microwave them and it's so easy. And I'll walk you through how I make the turkey chili so that I can remind you how easy it is to like create lean and greens from your favorite meals, just making a few substitutions. Um, this is one serving. It's a nice healthy serving. I am going to top it with two slices of cheese and two tablespoons of light sour cream. And it's going to be very yummy, but let me tell you how I made this. And I'm calling on my crock pot to help me make some chili. This is going to be turkey and beef chili because it's what I had in my fridge. I love that this is such an adaptable recipe. You literally need two pounds of meat, 12 cups of veggies, and a few pantry staples. Let's go. I'm gonna start by dumping some almost cooked ground meat. I have a pound of turkey and a pound of hamburger. It's not fully cooked through, but it's gonna sit and simmer in the crock pot and make your house smell good all day. So I'm not terribly worried. I just wanna make sure it's nice and broken up and I'm gonna dump that on into my crock pot. Next up, I'm gonna put in one packet, even though your recipe would generally call for two, I'm gonna put in one packet of reduced sodium chili mix because the carbs are kinda of high, so I wanna keep this lower carb. This is gonna make eight servings. All right, now for the 12 cups of veg. You can use whatever you have. I have seven cups of chopped squash, zucchini, and yellow squash in addition to, and this makes a full crock pot, y'all, in addition to two cups of bell pepper, and then I'm gonna do a can of fire roasted tomatoes and a can of green chilies with tomatoes. Rotel. By the way, I forgot to mention, I did use two tablespoons of dried minced onion when I cooked meat. Normally I would add a can of tomato sauce, but I am out. I am just going to put an entire container of chicken broth all over the top of this. And I'm gonna let my crock pot do the work all day long. The best part about this is it's your full one and a half cup servings of veggies per person for eight servings, as well as four ounces of my 96 four meat. Therefore, I still have two ounces to put cheese and Greek yogurt because we all know the toppings are where it's at. If you like it hot like I do, you can go in with some crushed red pepper. I'm gonna let this cook four hours on high or eight hours on low, and I'm gonna boil up some noodles to make chili mac for the kids. Lean and green approved, kid approved, delicious. I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, so to round out the protein in this, we are going to use two ounces of Greek yogurt and one ounce of shredded cheese. And then I also love topping it with some cilantro and green onions. It's gonna be so pretty and so delicious and pretty much all you can ask for. So here is my meat and veggie chili soup. I'm channeling fall here, y'all. We're ready for all the soups, even though it's still July. Bon appetit.